Good morning. We're here we are back at the biodiesel demonstration. We're going to now take the glycerol out of the biodiesel mixture. It's more dense, so it's going to be at the bottom. We got Mr. Link here with us, suited up, because there's maybe still some methanol and some potassium hydroxide left over. So for safety's sake, he's going to handle capturing the glycerol in the container. So to do that, you're going to go ahead and open valve number one and let that run until you see a lighter colored mixture come through the hose. All right, so what you've just seen was the glycerol running out until it ran almost clear and you had the biodiesel, the lighter colored liquid. Now, what's left in the tank, we started with about 25 or 26 gallons and there's about 19 gallons, 18 and a half, 19 gallons of, of biodiesel out of that mix right there. So now you would go back and similar to what we did in the degumming process, you would wash this with water one to two times and let it separate out and that biodiesel would become almost clear. And then that's what you'd use. You go ahead and recirculate it and turn your supplemental heater on and that will run just a little bit of the last water that you couldn't get out with the separation. And then you would go ahead and put it through valve number six, I believe it is, up here, six. And it'll run through the water separating filter and the finished product of the biodiesel will come out this hose right here. So that's how you make uh, biodiesel. Uh, we've gone through the step-by-step -step process. If you have any other questions, you feel free to contact us at TSU using the information that's on the screen. Uh, thank you very much and have a good day.